What's up YouTube, Chemo Kid here. It's been a while since I did a Clash Royale video. Uh, I've been doing a lot of Call of Duty live streaming, uh, but here's uh, what inspired me to make this video is in my quest, I've been doing this Play Expensive, which was my uh, Lava Hound Battle Machine deck that I've been showing off. But then I got this Play Rare, and in that other deck, I don't have that many rare cards. I think I only had one, if I even had any, I'll check that right now. Uh, so I wanted to make a deck with a bunch of rares in which I made this deck right here So you can see I got four rare cards giant mini P.E.K.K.A uh, Mega minion and ice golem. I uh, threw the poison in there needed something whether it was poison um, Fireball or lightning or something like that if they had a tower to defend my um, My giant or even just uh, for some direct tower damage Archer Knight and Zap for a little bit of defense and when I made this deck I did really well I wanted to show a couple replays and get into a live match for you notice. It's only 3.3 uh, But back to this okay my battle machine was the only rare card So I knew that was gonna get me there too fast, uh, but I'm gonna get into some of these replays excuse me and then I Will um, edit out when I click on it so that way you don't see the final score so here is the first one against Ray David from Sick Gaming. I'll fast forward as we build up Elixir here. Now what I usually do is I like dropping the giant right away first. Uh, I know some people like to hide their big cards to uh, show. So, you know, it's kind of a surprise later on. But I like doing that just to see how they defend it so I can counter that later. Now, um... If I was more patient, as soon as he dropped that pump, I would have dropped... Oh, that mini P.E.K.K.A hit was so huge right there. But I would have dropped that pump, or the giant, right at the bridge as soon as he dropped the pumps. I like to punish people for dropping pumps right away. And what I mean by that is that pump is six elixir. So if you rush them right away, they'll only have four elixir to defend. Basically, your full ten elixir push. Uh, which is why I dropped that mini P.E.K.K.A in right away. Um, I wanted to poison that pump, so I figured he dropped the pump, so there he goes, he dropped the pump, throw that mini P.E.K.K.A in as soon as possible, and see what happens, look at him, he's trying to get that uh, battle ram down, but not quick enough, goodbye tower. So that's what I mean by punishing him when he drops that pump, uh, but with my giant lane in the back, I was like, well I could poison that pump right now, but I'd get more value if he drops a card in that poison. So that's why I threw my mini P.E.K.K.A in there. I figured if he drops something to defend that mini P.E.K.K.A, I'll poison the pump, the tower, and whatever he drops in to defend. So that barb's gonna run down, not too worried about that. He drops his golem. Now notice I did not poison that pump. Usually when someone has battle ram, they have three musketeers with it. So I want to poison the three musketeers. Um, I don't want to waste that because those three musketeers will completely wreck you. So that's the first time I see the three musketeers. And at that point I was like, I knew it. Glad I saved that poison. Alright, so that poison notice is just gonna kill those two musketeers. I gotta worry about defending this tower. I dropped my mini peck in the back to take care of that one lonely musketeer while my archers could finish off this golem, these little golemites right now, which are destroying my tower 431. So here comes the battle ram, and at this point I'm like, if you stop the battle ram, you're probably gonna win this match. I stopped the battle ram. Awesome. Knight in there to tank from the minions. Still at 431, did not touch my tower. So now it's time to play a little bit of defense. He drops his golem, so again, punish him. Seven, or is that golem? Eight elixir. Punish him with that eight elixir. Throw that giant right at the bridge. Make him defend. Uh, but at the same time, I gotta defend now because I don't wanna lose this tower right now. Notice he's already into golemites. I don't care about that left hand side right now. And then there goes the um, battle ram. Once again, if I don't get hit, it's game over, but he connects. So I'm like, come on. But anyway, three musketeers comes down. There's the poison. I zap him so that way they'll be completely killed off in the poison. Don't have to worry about that. The musketeer on the right side gets killed. I don't really care about this minion horde coming down the right hand side. He drops another pump, so you know what that means. Punish him for that pump. Mini P.E.K.K.A behind, look at all this stuff here, and I'm going to poison all of that. I don't care that I didn't hit the tower, so I know that that poison is going to make way for the giant, which at this case, there's his tower, drops some archers in the middle, who's he going to defend? Well, he distracts all of them, but that's okay, I know I'm just about a poison away, um, if not two poisons of winning, so as long as I stop his golem, there you go. Drop the golem, throw the giant right at the bridge, get things going. 
Here comes the poison with the poison. Oh, and he drops his minions right in the poison. Terrible zap. He knows he's done. One punch. Knockout. All right, he's mad. I'm saying good game. I'm being nice. I'm not talking smack there. And there was a 2-1 victory there against a Golem 3 Musketeer Battle Ram deck. So those are hard to defend. I know if I use my uh, my Lava Hound Battle Machine deck, that his deck would probably have completely crushed me. Uh, that deck is weak against 3 Musketeers. It's hard to get that Golem because I don't have that many ground troops. But anyway, let me get into the next replay. All right, so here we're going against, I don't know what in the world that name is, MLG33 is all I can figure out at the bottom there, and for some reason he's mad, I don't know why, I'm just giving him the thumbs up, <laughs> all right, you can be mad all you want, um, Goblin's coming in, I didn't feel like taking that much damage from him to start the game, um, so I dropped my archers there to defend, and I see this Night Witch here. Giant's coming down, and let's see, I believe I dropped my knight to try to take care of her. Yes, I do. Wow, it just shows how much I would play uh, this deck here. Then he's got his little uh, executioner there, which I don't like going against. And it's funny, you would think I would use that card, because usually it's like, if I don't like going against the card, probably other people don't either, so maybe I should use it to be annoying, but I don't know. I don't know why I feel like I can't get him to work. Um, I'm going to drop this Ice Golem here to distract so he doesn't touch the tower at all. Um, there he goes. And that Tornado is something else here. So, first time I'm seeing the pump. And like I said, there's the pump. Punish him for that. Get that going. The Mega Minion going. That Mega Minion should take care of these bats. Look at the Archers taking care of the Goblins, which is great. Log's not going to do much. Um, <clears throat> that Mega uh, Minion took care of the Night Witch. He misses the tornado on the giant. That was a huge mistake for him. I mean, that Mega Minion was still going to do damage. Maybe take the tower. I don't know. It would have definitely done a lot of damage. But uh, missing that tornado is what definitely 100% costed him uh, that tower there. So he drops a pump way over there on the right-hand side. Figuring I'm going to go left. So, of course, I'm going to go left. Again, let's punish this guy for dropping a pump. Uh, dropped him right in the middle there. Poison, get some value from that poison because it's going to do damage on a tower. Even a little ice golem in there is clawing away at the tower. And look at his Night Witch is basically dead. Now I'm seeing the golem. So this whole time he's dropping pumps. I didn't see any like huge cards from him. Um, so I'm not sure at that point. I don't remember when I played if I expected like a golem or uh, what I was expecting. Seeing all those pumps there. So time to defend. Those goblins on the right hand side, you know what, you could go ahead and destroy my tower as much as you little goblins can. I have to worry about this uh, golem here, Mini P.E.K.K.A. I've said it in a lot of my previous videos, my favorite card in the deck. I was uh, really glad I could brought him back. And look at this guy drops another golem here, but you know what, I got my Mini P.E.K.K.A. here smacking away, eating these golems alive, and neither one of those touched my tower. Uh, so that's crazy. I dropped my uh, giant in the middle there so that way I can protect my archers. Let my archers do some damage. There's the Night Witch. Let's get some value from this poison. Getting the tower. Getting the Night Witch. And goodbye tower number two. And that is going to be the game. That golem is way too slow to get to my tower. He keeps laughing, saying good luck. Anything he said good luck, yeah, he kept saying, I don't know why. It's like, you lost. What are you trying to, like, talk smack to me for? I just kept saying thanks and gave him a thumbs up. I was, like, if I could, if I was going to be mean, I would say, well, you could see all these wins right here, but um, I could have started, you know, doing the crying face and being mean. Let's give Nick some uh, Valkyries there. A Valkyrie, actually. And let's get into a live battle. All right, so we have RMA from R-O-M-A-I-N-I-A, -I -I -I, if I could read the letters, not even trying to spell Romania, just trying to read letters and still unsuccessful. Uh, so let's see what this guy has. Not a great starting hand for me, and of course I drop him on that side, and he's got a knight going crazy on this side. I will stop that with my Mega Minion and Knight. Put these archers back here to take care of these skeletons. Uh, worst case scenario, which I'm not going to want to do. Um, I could use my poison for that, but I'm going to poison this uh, wizard right here. Get some value out of that as he stops to shoot. Hangs out in that poison a little bit more. These archers should take care of the rest. And they do. Goodbye. Splat. All right. Good to know he has the uh, graveyard this early in the match. I am glad to see that. Um, like I said during the replay, a lot of people like to hide cards like that. 
um, and try to surprise people. But uh, now that I know it's there, um, I'll be ready for it. So I'll always keep in mind, uh, keep some cards to counter that. Here comes the bandit. I should not have dropped the ice golem there. I should have dropped the ice golem right next to her so she couldn't charge. Um, so that was poorly played by me. This guy's coming down again, which means same exact counter. Now look at my giant. I was just going to say, he's doing nothing to protect against my giant. I don't know why. Um, I'll just do that. Get some shots in there. I'll take that. I'll take two punches. He gets three. So even better than I expected. That wizard is then clear up. Oh, look at both of his towers now. All right. So I am just going to zap this wizard. And he's going to do a little bit of damage on me. One shot. Great. I would have... No, 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 Ice Golem, stop, drop, drop, yeah, there we go, eat it all, Ice Golem, man, not all of it, but I will take that, I took one spare, again, Knight right on her, so he's going very aggressive on me here, uh, trying to do what he can, <clears throat> I don't know what he's trying to do, to be honest with you, he's trying to catch me off guard or something, but um, I'm definitely ready for him, let's go with Mini P.E.K.K.A., Archer's back here to protect, and Mega Minion to finish up this um, knight over there. I'm gonna say Prince. All right, poison down. That's gonna take care of this wizard. Ooh, almost got the goblins in there, but I'm gonna zap them. Look at my little mini Pekka, barely staying alive. Die, wizard! Oh, he doesn't die. Get two punches, please. One, and one only. All right, let's get another giant going on over here. So now he's gonna start getting aggravated. What's going on? Oh, come on, archers! I thought I clicked archers. Let's get the Mega Minion up here. Look at that wizard hanging around with one little tiny bit of life. I'm going to poison again. Oh, I got most of those goblins in there. And what can we do? What can we do? All right, you go rush. I'm going to drop this guy to protect. Guess what? Time for another giant. Ooh, didn't expect this guy to go in here. All right, archers, clean up that wizard. Clean up this knight here. Good call on the Valkyrie punch. No punch. All right, Valkyrie, clean up, clean up, clean up. I still got this golem anyway. So I'll stop you there so you don't do any more charges. And he's dead. And you're dead. And let's get my mini Pekka in here. Not the best card, but Archers will come to help out. So go at Archers. Clean up the rest. I'll drop my Mega Minion. He dropped his Bandit there. I'm going to let that Bandit do work. I really don't care. Um, this game is almost over. He's gonna drop a wizard, I'm guessing. Oh, there's the Valkyrie. All right, kill the Valkyrie. There it is! The end. Game over. Um, while well, that guy was very aggressive, probably too aggressive, which is why he didn't catch me, I got my challenge completed. Awesome. So let's collect this. As I start to lose my voice, 400 gold, 20, um, whatever these things are called, to go for my magical chest. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I will be posting more Clash Royale videos. I do enjoy this game. I do like making videos for it. So, uh, till next time, peace.